Sunday morning because I was, you know, part, part of me was absolutely thrilled to bits with um, being able to be together. And um, another part of me was thinking, yeah, and now we're going to be locked down again. So we can't meet together. So I'm just disappointed from that perspective. But it was great to be together. So I had all sorts of emotions going on. And I guess many of you got all sorts of emotions going on. So may the Lord help you and help us. I was, um, I was thinking what to do this morning. And that I want to show you something in a minute. Uh, but I want to just read to you from Romans uh, chapter 8, which is probably one of the most glorious chapters. And it says in verse 22, We know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth, right up until the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. But hope that is not it, that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things... God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. What a wonderful scripture. It goes on, for those who God, who, who God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. And we know it goes on and on and on. I'm just thinking about just the whole, you know, the earth is groaning at the moment and there's a bit of groaning going on. And this isn't the first time the earth has groaned. Uh, there have been other times, other plagues, other difficulties. But we know we don't live in the perfect at the moment. But... We have that beautiful promise that we know in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Um, yesterday I did some, some woodwork in my little woodwork shop. Um, I've, got, I've got a lathe and um, I've been asked to make a few bowls for Christmas presents for, for someone. And uh, uh, let me tell you a story and that is that about four or five years ago, Leslie and I were on holiday in a, a campsite just on a farmer's field. And as we went for a walk one day, we came across this pile of wood and it was a pile of wood just being chopped up, ready for, to be chopped up for firewood. And uh, there were a couple of bits there. And I said to Leslie, well, that's a nice piece of beach. I said, that might even be spalted beach. Um, I explain what spalted beach is in a minute. And I, I picked them up and I took them to the farm and I said, could I have these, please? And he said, well, you can buy them off me if you like. And I said, well, look, they're, you're, it's firewood. Um, and he said, what do you want them for? I said, well, I think they might be worth something I, in terms of there may be some beauty in that wood. And, uh, and, and I said, I don't want to pay you any money for them because they could all split apart and it'll be, it's, it is as worthless like firewood. But I think there might be something good there. So he said, oh, go on then. And he was a bit grumpy with me. I probably should have just offered to pay him some money, although I have no idea how much I would have paid him. Um, Anyway, I got, got these bits of wood home and left them for a little while. And one of the pieces was more seasoned than the other. So I tried turning it and I made it into a bowl. And the last piece of that wood I turned yesterday. And let me show you, let me show you what, it, what it looks like. This is, the, this is the bowl. I'm not sure because I can't really see what you can see. I can just see. Well, I'll see it in a 10 seconds time. But I don't know if you can see this, is, this bowl. Um, it's called Spalted Beach. And the beech wood is normally just kind of like, like that. It's really quite boring. But this, the beauty in this wood is that it's got um, these little markings in it. And uh, the end of the story with the farmer is that I actually turned a bowl and I was so pleased with it, I packaged it up and I sent it to him um, with a little note. And I just said, some wood is too good for burning. Uh, this, this was worth what I thought it was worth. And here is... The first fruits, if you like, of these. I've probably got four bowls out of these little bits of wood. Um, and so I, I sent it off to him. And he was absolutely... I, I, was, I wasn't expecting to hear anything back from him because I thought he was a bit grumpy. But actually he came back to me with a lovely email saying, oh, thank you ever so much. It's, that's on my desk now. I'm enjoying it. And uh, come anytime you like. You can come and grab uh, any wood that you want. Um, so I do want to sing. So, I, But just to... To finish, finish the illustration, uh, the illustration is that the reason that this wood is so beautiful is because it's got these little markings in it, and the markings come from disease. So the way that the beech tree works, and in fact some other trees work as well, 
is when disease gets into the wood, um, it basically attacks it, but it leaves a scar in place. And the scar that it leaves in place is these little markings, but it makes it more beautiful. And that's my point is that when we go through, when people go through tough times, God can use these things to make them more beautiful, to make their characters more beautiful, to bring glory to God. And when I look at a piece of wood like that, I think, oh, that's glorious. But actually it went through hardship. It went through disease in order to get like that. So um, that's my little parable for the day. I think it was, it's helpful, isn't it, when you see something. God in all things will work, work all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And even through the tough times, even through going through some of these difficulties, God will work good if we allow him to, if we accept, if we um, embrace God's um, work in our lives. I love the way that scripture says, and we know, and we do need to know these things because that helps us to live with faith. So um, I'm going to pick up the guitar and I'm going to sing because I think it's good for us to rejoice. Hallelujah. God is, um, God is good. He's good all the time. And um, I'd like us to sing that song. Well, I'm going to sing. You don't have to sing, but uh, you can if you like. By grace alone, somehow I stand. Where even angels fear to tread. Invited by redeeming love. Before the throne of God above. He pulls me close with nail-scarred hands into his everlasting arms. When condemnation grips my heart and Satan tempts me to despair, I hear the voice scatters fear, the great I am, the Lord is here, oh praise the one who fights for me, and shields my soul eternity, eternity.
Father, we thank you that you have made an end to all our sin. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, Lord, which has washed us free from sin, free from guilt and free from condemnation. And we thank you, Lord, that you are working all things together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. And we thank you, Lord, that Lord, I believe that, Lord, everyone who's on this uh, this gathering right now, that, that includes us, Lord. And so we pray, Father, for your blessing today over our lives. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will uh, beautify us, Lord, through every means that you send. Father, help us to worship and love you today. Help us to put you first in all things. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you come and you intercede for us. You help us pray. Lord, we thank you that you've, you've come alongside us. So come and fill us again today. Help us to walk with you, Lord, not to quench you or grieve you, Lord, but to keep in step with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.